Would you be able to tell if your child or baby is dehydrated? In this video, let's look at how to tell if a baby is dehydrated, dehydration symptoms in older kids, and when to go to the hospital with baby dehydration. Dehydration happens when the body lacks enough water or the right balance of salts. It can affect anyone, but babies and young kids are particularly at risk. It can happen if it's very hot weather or if they've been having a bout of vomiting and diarrhea. Parents and caregivers must know how to spot dehydration and perhaps a few things you can do at home to help to treat it. Babies younger than 12 months and especially those under six months are more likely to get dehydrated. Babies who are born with low birth weight are also at risk. If your baby has been sick with diarrhea more than six times or vomiting more than three times in the last 24 hours, they could be dehydrated. So here's what to watch for in babies under two years old. Your baby might feed less, sleep more or less than usual, or be very fussy, crying a lot or just not able to settle down. They may wet their nappies less often and you notice that their urine appears darker than usual. Their inner lips might be dry, their eyes might look so and when they're crying you might notice that you can't see any tears you may also notice that the soft spot on the top of their head looks sunken as well very young babies could make jerky or jittery movements if you see any of these signs please talk to a doctor straight away what about dehydration symptoms in older children for older kids a lot of these symptoms I've just talked about might also happen but they may also be able to tell you about how they're feeling so they might seem unusually tired or even even tell you that they're feeling tired or not well. They might complain of having a headache, they might feel thirsty or complain of feeling dizzy. They might also go to the toilet to pee less than usual and again their urine might look darker than what you would expect. If the weather has been very hot or they've recently had a stomach bug where they've had vomiting and or diarrhea, these symptoms might mean that they are dehydrated. So when is the right time to go to hospital with baby dehydration? If your child seems very sick or they're not able to carry out their usual activities you should get medical help so here are some signs that mean that you should be going to hospital your child can't eat drink or feed properly especially if they keep on vomiting if they have a severe headache or like i mentioned before when they're crying you can't see them making any tears if you notice that baby's soft spot is sunken so when you run your finger over the spot it actually pushes down they might be dehydrated if they're breathing very fast they have a high temperature above 38 degrees centigrade and it's not coming down when you give them paracetamol or neurofen when you hold your baby their heart may be racing or beating very fast or and something else that you might notice is that they haven't had a wet nappy in the last four to six hours for all the children they may not have weed in the last six or eight hours. Any one of these signs should make you concerned about talking to a doctor or bringing your baby or child to the hospital. So how can we prevent dehydration? Well, to keep your child from getting dehydrated, make sure they're drinking enough fluids, especially in hot weather. Give them as much fluids, water, juice, or milk that they're able to tolerate. Remember that when it's warm, they're losing water, not just through urine, but they're also losing water from sweat and through the skin. Dress them in fewer clothes if it's a warm day. If your child has a sickness bug with diarrhea and vomiting, commonly it should get better within a few days. If they only have diarrhea and they seem okay in themselves, so they're running around and playing, then make sure that they're taking plenty of fluids and eating as much as they can. But if they're vomiting, then of course it's tricky to get them to keep food or water down. So if they've just vomited, Wait about 30 minutes or up to an hour before trying to get them to drink anything again. You can use a straw or a spoon to offer small sips of water, particularly to small babies or children. And using milk, dilute juice and water are all different options. It's usually better to give them small amounts of fluid to drink at a time and doing so frequently rather than trying to get them to drink a whole big amount of fluid, water or juice at one sitting. If you're breastfeeding, 
feeding, keep offering the breast to your child, giving them a little break after vomiting before putting them back on the breast. If your child is still vomiting despite this effort to rest their tummy before any more fluid, please bring them to the nearest hospital. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions around this topic. Talk to a healthcare provider if you're worried or you're unsure about what steps to take next and I'll see you again soon.